No one really knows for sure exactly what would happen if our sun suddenly disappeared. But if you use science to look at some of the logical things that would likely happen, you would get a fairly accurate idea of the chain of events that would take place if our sun suddenly disappeared from our solar system. It should be made clear that the sun can't be suddenly snuffed out like fire, nor will it simply stop burning one day. However, it's an interesting concept to go through the stages of what would happen next. So, if you're curious what life on Earth would be like and what would happen to the Earth if the sun suddenly vanished, then keep watching. Don't forget to click subscribe so you'll be notified when we release new videos like this one. And if you liked this video, don't forget to like, share, and comment below. Our sun is the center of our solar system, and everything in our solar system, the Earth and the other planets and their moons, revolve around the sun. This happens because of the strong gravitational pull from the sun's incredible mass, which equals an incredible 99.86% of our solar system's total mass. And as Earth and the other planets orbit around the Sun, our entire solar system is traveling through space at the same time and at a velocity of about 20 kilometers per second. Suddenly remove the center point of gravity from our solar system and cataclysmic events could happen. The first thing that would befall the Earth is eternal darkness. But it takes about 8 minutes and 20 seconds for sunlight to travel from the Sun to the Earth. We wouldn't know the Sun was gone until that short time later. We would still be able to see other planets farther out in the solar system reflecting sunlight from a sun that no longer exists. Jupiter, for instance, would still be visible in the black night sky for 33 minutes after we lost our sunlight. Our moon would also no longer be visible in the sky. People on the day side of the planet would notice the sun's light going out first, and some on the night side would see the moon's light fade out. Just about the same time that sunlight stopped traveling to our planet, the gravitational pull from the sun would be gone, since gravitational waves travel the same speed as the speed of light. With the gravitational pull of the sun suddenly gone, Mercury, Venus, and then the Earth would shoot outwards traveling the same speed. The Earth would be hurtling through the coldness of space at 30 kilometers per second, or 67,108.09 miles per hour. Mass panic and chaos would start when everyone had suddenly realized the sun had just vanished. Some people may die from the shock and disbelief at what has happened. Many people would die from widespread panic as people flee to their homes or try to find safe places to get to. There would be no light except for artificial light powered by electricity, as long as the power plants remained operational and the people who operate them were still able to keep them running. The warmth from the sun would stop and some places would experience near-instant temperature drop. In comparison, data obtained during the 2017 solar eclipse show temperatures dropped, and in some places, by as much as 11 degrees during the time when the moon blocked out the sun. If the sun was completely gone, we can safely say temperatures could drop by 20 degrees or more instantly. But besides surface temperatures suddenly dropping, the loss of sunlight also poses a bigger threat as if slowly freezing to death isn't threat enough. The biggest problem would be the loss of photosynthesis, which makes up 99.9% .9 of all the Earth's natural productivity. The process would eventually cease in about 24 hours. Without the sun, plants would not be able to produce food or take in carbon dioxide and give off life-sustaining oxygen. However, we would still be able to survive because the oxygen supply in our atmosphere, which is an estimated quintillion tons of oxygen, which is enough oxygen left in our atmosphere to survive another 150,000 years. That is, until the atmosphere itself froze and fell to Earth as frozen black ice. And unless someone figured out a way to fix the lighting problem fast, all plants would start to die, unable to produce food for itself. And depending on the size of the plant, start to die within days, or weeks. Larger trees and plants could survive longer depending on how much food the tree or large plant had stored. Some trees can live from six months to a year in the cold and dark. But eventually, without the sun, the trees that survived would start to freeze and then eventually would start to turn into ice. Animals that depended on plant matter to survive, like cows, goats, horses, and other grazing animals, would run out of food first. 
Carnivores like lions, bears, tigers, and other meat-eating creatures will surely live longer feeding off the herbivores weakened by cold and starvation. This, of course, would be dependent if those carnivores could survive the dropping temperatures all across the globe. But most carnivores, like wolves and bears, can survive very cold temperatures. Fish in shallow lakes or rivers will likely freeze to death, and those lakes, rivers, and streams would start to freeze over with ice. Within a week, the average global surface temperature of the Earth would drop below zero degrees Fahrenheit. Many animals that couldn't survive the cold would freeze to death. Humans would soon need to move below the ground, and places where geothermal activity was, such as a lava hot spring, would be the place to go. If us humans were to survive, we would have to create a place below the surface and find a way to heat that place or move close to the underground thermal vents. Humans could also survive for some time in submarines. Until, of course, the food ran out. After a year without the sun, the Earth's global temperature would dip into a frosty negative 150 degrees Fahrenheit. The top layers of the ocean would have begun to freeze from the poles and out towards the equator. The top layers of ice would be incredibly thick, miles thick. But the water nearest the core of the Earth, along with the top layer of insulating ice, would keep the oceans from freezing solid for hundreds of thousands of years. Many sea creatures that live in the cold darkness would still be alive. Those creatures unaffected by the loss of the sun and do not need the sun in order to survive. The water at the bottom of the oceans would be insulated by miles of thick surface ice, while at the same time being warned by geothermal vents. Because of this, our oceans would continue to host an entire ecosystem of extremophiles, those cold-blooded creatures that live at extreme colds and depths to microbes that live near hydrothermal vent ecosystems. Not only would this ecosystem thrive, but it could survive for billions of years. And while our planet is traveling through space, the Earth has become a space shuttle with life flying through space. After about 1,000 years, the global surface temperature of the planet would become stable at negative 400 degrees. This is the temperature at which the heat radiating from the planet's core would equal the heat that the Earth radiates into space. When this happens, the atmosphere will freeze and fall to the surface of the Earth. That would leave anyone or anything left alive exposed to harsh cosmic radiation that travels through space. Those creatures existing at the bottom of the oceans could still be alive, but by this time, unless mankind banded together and somehow created an underground city, most humans would have died from either starvation or succumbed to the icy cold. Another thing to consider is that since the Earth had lost its gravity, it began traveling outwards into space. And during these thousands of years of traveling blindly through space, there would have been a good possibility that an asteroid or comet would have collided with planet Earth as it sped through the universe. Provided the Earth did manage to escape the solar system unscathed and stay out of the way of any neighboring stars or other debris traveling through space like giant asteroids or comets, the Earth would continue soaring undeterred through the vacuum of space at the same velocity. It seems like a very sad end to our beautiful blue planet. But there are other possibilities that Earth could start new again somewhere else in the universe. After a billion years, the Earth would have traveled the distance of 100,000 light years across the Milky Way. There is a very remote possibility that the Earth could find its way close enough to another star where it could be captured in a new orbit around this new star. The life it carried with its frozen oceans could begin to evolve once again. If all of this sounded scary, you don't need to worry. Our sun isn't going anywhere for a very long time. But in about one billion years, the diameter of the sun will have increased enough to boil the Earth's oceans and evaporate them, which will make life impossible. Eventually, the Earth will be swallowed by the sun as it swells in mass. And it is estimated that in five billion years, our sun will go supernova. So you, me, and everyone else you know has nothing to worry about. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we release cool new videos like this one. We appreciate your likes and comments.